Ghufranak. Oh, hello and assalamu alaikum. It is I, Professor Root from Baba University. Fancy finding you here. Let me give you a bit of advice. Do not go in there. I ate a lot of squash last night. After you use the restroom, make sure you purify your hands properly. Now I like to remember something. It's called the ABCs. This allows us to wash our hands for at least 20 seconds with soap. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. And there you have it. We've purified our hands. Always a good idea in the morning and in the evenings to check to see if you need to brush. <laughs> well, I think I should probably brush my teeth. And there you have it. We've purified our mouth and our breath. It's also important to remember to brush your beautiful hair. Alhamdulillah, I feel much better and cleaner. However, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He doesn't need to do any of the things we do on a daily basis to remain clean and pure. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has always been and is pure, perfect, holy. He is Al Quddus. Join me today as we learn more about this beautiful name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The most pure, the most holy, Al Quddus. Al Quddus is a quality that only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has. It means He has no defects. He has no faults. He is completely perfect. He is so perfect that it's impossible for us to even imagine. Delicious squash for dinner tonight. Now I've got a question for you young Muslim explorers. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you needed some help? Oh, oh dear, a fire, a fire, somebody call for help, call the librarian, call the fire department. Oh. <laughs> oh dear, well, it appears that uh, my squash dinner is not looking too good. Now it's important for you young Muslim explorers to remember something. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is Al Quddus, which means He's perfect and pure. And He never makes any mistakes and He never needs any help. Okay, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Oh, subhanAllah. So you see, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He's Al Quddus, which means He has no weaknesses unlike His creation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al Quddus. He has no weakness. He is perfect, holy, and pure. Did you know? that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us how holy and perfect he is in the story of Isra and Miraj. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam was taken to the heavens in order to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah was so pure and perfect that even the blessed Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam could not see him. But what did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do? He gave the Prophet, peace be upon him, a very special gift, the gift of five times prayer. We are weak as humans 
And we need prayer in order to communicate with the most blessed, the most high, the most holy, the most pure, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is what our prayer can do for us. It gives you the opportunity to speak with the most high, the most pure, Al-Quddus. يسبح لله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض الملك القدوس العزيز الحكيم. So remember, young Muslim explores. Allah is Al Qudus, which means He is perfect and holy beyond our imagination. So please make sure to hit like and subscribe. And join us, young Muslim explorers, on this journey to learning all 99 names.